what's up you guys so very amazing because well, how you guys doing yeah so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to scrap your quick 10 to 20 pips or 30 pips move in the forest market you know scrapping is one of the strategies that some of us use to flip accounts and to make money also it's very it's very easy and good to scrap like if you know how to do that very correctly but some people don't know how to scrap and some of the forest that's why i don't take signals from anyone because i feel like some people's strategy is different from your strategy or from how you know forest to be about maybe you learn forest from someone who swing and or you learn from someone who is a day trader and you're taking signal from someone who is a scrapper not knowing that that person is a scrapper that person is going to make money from a signal that he has and that he sent but you won't make money our or you will make money, the person will not make money, but I'm just kidding, but I know what I'm saying. Like, if you are taking signals from people that you don't know what strategy they are using, you are going to be making mistakes. So you have to define and redefine what you are doing as a forest trader. Find out what is suitable for you and find out what you need to be doing that is okay. Because for me, I feel like also that trading is all about you versus you i have said that before you versus you yeah you have to really understand what you have to do best and what is good for you for me i am a day trader and also scrap when i see opportunity to do that yeah i know how to scrap like 10 to 20 to 30 pips whenever i see them yeah i take it and scrapping is a strategy that you have to understand very correctly if you don't know how to do it scrappers are people who take trades maybe on one minute or five minutes or 15 minutes but for me i take my trades wherever i see the opportunity only what i do is just to position well and take profits that's how i scrap so let's go directly to the chat let me show you guys how i do that easy peasy let's go yes welcome to my chat so this is my chat yeah so easy thing easy thing easy thing easy thing easy thing easy thing how to scrap as i said yeah so uh let's use a fresh chart like maybe gdp yeah let's use this chart so as i said earlier if you guys have watched my video if you have watched my video previously you know that i said i made day traders so day traders we take trades from especially from 15 minutes 30 minutes or one hour i know some day traders that take trades from one hour time frame but for me i take trades from 15 minutes whenever i want to take trades but i use one hour and four hours for my overall analysis yeah so very easy so from here because it's a trend line so this is my this is my overall trend yeah from here you can see that the gdp jpy pay from four hours you can see that the trend is an uptrend so what will i do i'll go down to one hour to one hour will help me know my current trend yeah so one hour is where i figure out and know okay as four hour is uptrend what am i seeing on one hour i can literally see that the one hour time frame is also bullish but i can just see that there is a lot a little retracement here which is if you put a trend line here put a trend line here that's there is a trend line here which is a little bit flat that is not much straight yeah but we can also have a trend line that is coming from here remember what i said that i told you guys before that inside trader there is also a trend line which is called the main trend line the mini trader and the micro trend line yeah so this is a mini trade line here, which is whatever I'm doing, I know that this is just a retracement that is happening right now. So you really have to understand that whenever you want to scrap, scrap is a different ballgame. Yeah, scrapper doesn't dwell or do anything in higher time frame like one hour, four hours. No, scrappers always work with 15 minutes. Remember when I say that the four hour is my main trend, which is this. Yeah, this is the four hour time frame. Yeah, the four hour time frame is my main trend. Yeah, the one hour is my current trend. So when it comes to scalpers, scalpers, 15 minutes is their main trend. Yeah. So on 15 minutes time frame, that's where they get their main trend. So so let's go down to scalpers. So right now I'm a scalper. So let me show you guys whenever I come to a trend. So whenever I come to the market, I will open my my 15 minutes and I will know where my trends are going. So I can see that this is just coming down here. So what will I do? I will position myself on five minutes so remember the one hour is my main my current trend so when I, now that i'm a scalper five minutes is my current trend so you can see that my main trend which is 15 minutes is also downward the five minutes is also what downward which is bearish downtrend yeah it's also downtrend so what will i do i'll 
go over to one minute. A minute time frame is my entry into where I take trades. Yeah, as a day trader, where I take trade is on 15 minutes, but as a scalper, where I take trade is on one minute or three minutes. Yeah, I also use three minutes as a scalper to find out if I'm correct, if my one minute is trying to, if, if I'm not seeing what I'm, what I want to do correctly on one minute, I will go over to three minutes to confirm my bias. Yeah, so you can literally see that what is happening here. You can see that this market is just going down aggressively here. So pretty simple. What will I do? How we focus on this move? You can see what happened here. There's a series of chart pattern here. And remember the chart pattern that I trade is very simple, which is this. My chart pattern is this. M and W chart pattern. That's what I trade. M and W chart pattern. M and W chart pattern. That's what I trade. So very simple. What will I do next? I will look for this chart pattern on the chart. Whenever, whenever I see this chart pattern on the trade, I will hop on with some of my complexes that I use to trade. So this is my chart pattern. This is my chart pattern. What is psychology level? So, psychology level. So psychology level is also what I use to trade. So what is psychology level? Let me put one or two for you guys. Psychology levels are random numbers. We have bank and hedge fund pay close attention to. So some of us use use support and resistance zone, which I don't say is bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Everybody has their own approach when it comes to trading. Yeah. So chart pattern. Oh, sorry. Psychology level is what I use instead of support and resistance zone so here you can see that this is a resistance zone and this is a resistance zone you can call this a resistance zone and this place this is a resistance zone where the market refused and refused to break out from like refused to go cease to go up that is a resistance zone so what about support support is where the market cease to go down from here you can see that here is also a support zone so here is a ceiling here is a bottom like a ground where the market refused to go down from so instead of me using these things this 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 guy or this guy what i do what i do use is psychology level so let me show you guys psychology level very simple let me delete this line that i don't use which is support and resistance zone so what I use is psychology level. So psychology levels are these random numbers, as I said, that bank and hedge fund pay close attention. So, so before before then, before I start, before I know how to do psychology level, what I use like what I use is support and resistance zone. And I with that support and resistance zone, I don't know prices much. But when I started using psychology levels, I started being clear about prices where the markets are headed to or where the market bounced from or where the market retreats from so you can see that this is this is psychology level so psychology level on gj or gdp gbp jpy is one eight one eight four point five hundred so the next one will be one eight one eight four point zero 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 so let, let's look at let's find out the next one very far away here so this is the next one 184.00 so this is a psychology level yeah so which which other one so in psychology levels i use difference of 50 50 pips to check to put my zones yeah just because this play this this thing is a is lower time frame that's why it's so wide this way let's go back to five minutes for 15 minutes you can see that it's not too wide that way yeah you can see this is 15 minutes. What do you see? You see that the market retrace once it hit this this psychology level. What happened? Once the market come back to retrace on that level, started rolling up. So what about here? Where is the market finally difficult to break out from? Which which other people can call resistance zone is on psychology level. So that's why I prefer using psychology level. And it, it has helped me a lot to understand prices. As I said, you can see that it's one eight four point zero pounds five hundred. Yeah, so right now I don't usually say okay, market is going to retrace on this second level. I will also I will say the market market is going to retrace on 184.500 or 184.000 or 184.185000. So it depends on what you want to use. For me, I use psychology level. So very simple, very simple. So what next what else do I use? What else do I use is this. It's called trend line, which I have already showed you guys here 
So this is what I use trend line. So trend line strategy is very simple from 15 minutes, which is my higher time frame as a scrapper. You can see how I plot this one. Here is my main trend. So trend line has supposed to have what we call relevant, it's supposed to pass what we call relevancy test. So if your trend line doesn't pass relevancy test, your trend line is not valid. Relevancy tests are tests that shows that you know what you are doing. It shows that the trend line is valid, which is this. That's that we where I plot my trade line is where the markets are playing out or right now, where the markets are currently. That's where I plot my trend line. I can't plot my trend line here. I can't plot my trend line here again because this, this doesn't pass a relevancy test. Market is no longer here. I can't also plot my trend line here, trying to know or trying to trying to say that I know how to plot a trend line. Yes, this is this was correct when the market was here, but the market is no longer here. So these things I will get rid of this because they are not correct. They are all they are not relevant to the current market yeah so what is very simple the next thing is let's look out for a trade now as a scalper so this is 15 minutes and this is five minutes so five minutes is my current trend remember what i said so in fact on five minutes time frame on five minutes time frame, what can you see you can see that the market is consolidating here and once the market will share what happened the market come down drops from there so if you are with position here you can literally see that there is a Chance pattern that is building out here. So for me, I can take trade here once I'm once I was here, or I will take trade here. I can see that is a chance pattern here. So if you take a trade for a sale here, you can see that you're going to make money. And remember, as a stopper, your your strategy or your strategy you have to be very fast when taking decisions as a strapper and your strategy is supposed to have one is to two risk to reward ratio so i'm risking ten dollars to target 20 something dollars let's say 25 50 dollars because i know that something is going to happen when the market is going to come here so what will i do i'll position myself to get out of the market once the market reach here so from here you can see that i'm already on profit because there is a chart pattern playing out here which is m and w which is uh, the um, sorry M, which is the chart pattern that I showed you guys M and W where I trade double top, double bottom. So once the market reach here again, I will position myself to take another trade because I'm seeing a chart pattern here. So other thing that I look at is a weak projection. See, the reason why I brought in on those trade here, one well, reason that I, the reason that I say that I'm going to get in if I was here is because there is some weak rejection here. Multiple weak rejection shows that the market is resisting to go up from there or go down from the resistance zone or support zone so you can see that there is a multiple week rejection right here playing out that's why i said that if i was here i would get in for a sell opportunity here and i will be i will be riding on profit right now I'll be in a massive profit here so scalpers and Scalpers and uh, scalpers are people who are fast in making decisions when it comes to forest trading and they know how to maximize risk to reward ratio. So the next thing scalpers use very well is risk management. So if you want to apply risk management, very simple, you come over here, position size calculator. So imagine that I have a, a account balance of $10,000. As a scalper, you have to really you have to really know that you have to be risking so low. Yeah, so low because as a scalper, you will, you will take a trade more than you will take a trade more than like ten times in a day or even twenty because scalpers are very fast taking trades. So you have to you have to risk even if it's zero point zero two, even if it's zero point two percent of your account of your account, you have to risk it zero point two percent of your account. Let's check how many twenty dollars. That's what I'm risking on this on this on this account right now and i'm trading okay let's use example of what is more one thousand dollars yeah two dollars that's what you are risking but if you're risking it up to this amount you won't make much money but let's so let's also use ten thousand dollars because you can have something that you make so you're risking twenty dollars to make forty dollars and remember that you are doing this so fast that's what you are doing. So remember, risk to reward ratio is very important. If you are risking twenty dollars, make sure that you make forty dollars, so that next time if you take a trade and lose, you can be able to pay for that trade in as much as you are doing. So let me show you guys what I mean by that. Imagine that you take a trade five times, and if you know how to apply risk to reward ratio, and this is it, you take a trade five times and you lose. It was an L. It was L. So and you take a trade. 
other five times again, then it was P, profit. So the total profit, remember this P, your P, whenever you win, is, is two. And whenever you lose, is one. So remember, whenever you lose, you lose one. And whenever you win, you win two. So whenever you win five times, it's 10. Whenever you lose, you lose five. This is a total of, let me show you guys. So very simple. So remember, you look, you whenever you lose, you lose, uh, you lose, you lose, you lose five times, which is you're going to lose five dollars. Five dollars. That's what you lose. That's it. This is it. You lose five dollars. So in a case where you win, you win ten dollars. You win ten dollars. So simple, this is it. So when it comes to end of the year or end of the month, if you if you subtract this five dollar from ten dollar, you are still in profit of five dollars. So you still make money. So staffers always know how to use risk to reward, and they are fast in taking decisions. Yeah. So look at right here. You can take multiple trades from here. Look at from here. You are looking to buy from here. Once you see is a chart pattern of W, you get in for his buy opportunity in which year, and you started seeing and this rejection and you get in hopping again for yourself opportunity and remember once you see a chance pattern which is w on psychology level that's why you get it even if i didn't even if i didn't take this trade i did to this trade here from here because i'm seeing a chance pattern which is here and here which is the bigger one i'm still i will be still running on profit i will still running on profit right now like i will still be riding on profit and this is massive and remember here my my stops will not be this much my stop will be like six pips and i will i will be getting out upon this Upon here, we hear that I'm seeing a multiple week rejection, which is 18. I'm one, one is to two, you see it, three is to zero point five here. The risk reward I'm getting one is to three from this trade right now. And that's massive. That's massive. So that is how to start. Very simple. Remember what I said. You are taking your positions on five on a minute time frame and five minutes time frame. That's where you're taking trades when you come to starting. So that's pretty simple. Remember, minutes, one minute time frame, three minutes, five minutes, and 15 minutes. That's where you will make your decision so fast. And that's how you trade as a scalper. So thank you so much, guys. So guys, that's how to scalp. Very easy, easy, like easy, easy. If you don't know how to scalp, as I said, when I started this video, you are going to lose money. So this simple, easy way that I just showed you guys right now is how to scalp 20, 10 pip or 30 people or even 50 people i know some people that are called 50 people scalping <laughs> yeah everybody has their own way of trading some people 50 people is just a scalp for them but we 50 people is just more we just catch 50 people now we're just killing it <laughs> so remember you have to pay close attention to what you are doing very very important as a forest trader don't allow the environment and everything to discourage you from not knowing what you are doing. Listen, for you to be successful in the forex market, you have to really know what you are doing. Like people who make it in the forex market, forex market are people who always know what they are doing in every single moment. Forex require you to be present every single time. Like you have to be mindful of what you are doing so that you can scale up and make money from the forex market. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button for your boy. Turn your bell notification. See you in the next video. Love you. Quick one. Please don't send money to anybody. Like anybody that is telling you that, or you see that it's amazing prosper. I won't ask you for. I will ask you to send me money for an investment, please. Very important. And if you want to join my Telegram channel, please. The link is on the description. Let's go. Love you.